Hey everyone, it's Jenny at JC Cards and I'm so happy to be joining you today after a little bit of a hiatus of a couple of weeks. Work had been super intense and I just hadn't had as much time to make videos as I'd have liked. Today I'm joining you with two cards that feature the Hedgehog Hollow September 2019 subscription box. I'm still on my peacock vibe so I'm going to be showing you how I created two peacock themed cards. You may have already seen this one, I posted it on the Hedgehog Hollow blog last week and uh, over on my Instagram. It was very popular and I decided to carry on that theme with the monochromatic background and the peacock inspired colours in the foreground. I'm using these stamp sets as I mentioned from the September 2019 subscription box. You can't get them anywhere else and they are still available as at the timing of this video. I've provided links in the description box below. Now to get started, I'm going to be creating a background using just plain black ink. This is VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. It's super fine which is great for these very very intricate stamps and I'm using this one peacock feather and stamping it all over a panel of white cardstock, rotating it as I go to get more of a random feel. I'm going to do the same thing again with a different feather. This time I'm going to keep it straight. So I'm going to move it sideways using an acrylic block and I'm not getting too precious about it being perfect but I'm going to move it up and down but I'm, you'll see I'm keeping it in the same vertical position and I'm going to do that at the top and bottom of my panel. Now I'm going to do one of my tricks here that I absolutely love to do. This is the Nouveau Shimmer Pen in Midas Touch and I like to squirt a little bit out on an acrylic block and then flick it out over the panel and then leave it to dry. For the focal image on my first card I am going to use this fantastic detailed peacock from the Hedgehog Hollow stamp set. I'm going to be stamping it in embossing ink and then heating bossing it. So I like to treat my cardstock with a powder tool just to remove any static cling, stop that embossing powder sticking where I don't want it, before then inking up my stamp with WOW embossing ink and then stamping it down. I'm using WOW metallic gold rich pale super fine because this is a very intricate stamp uh, embossing powder and I'm going to shake it all over my cardstock and you will see there's a couple of areas where it didn't quite stick. Instead of heating it up, going back in with my Misty, re-stamping it, I do have a little trick that sometimes works. I go back in with the embossing powder and then I very slowly tap, keeping the cardstock slightly flatter and that way it doesn't quite fall off as quickly. And if you're lucky, the embossing ink that's underneath will grab on a second time to that embossing powder and it will fill in those gaps and you won't need to re-stamp it. And that's a quick look at the image once I've heat embossed it. Now for my ink colours I'm going to use the same on both cards. I'm using Distress Oxides. This first one is Peacock Feathers because of course it is. And these blend beautifully. I'm just using ordinary uh, white cardstock from the box here and I'm using a blender brush just to blend it. You'll see it completely coats the embossing powder but that's okay you'll see what we do at the end here and then I'm going to come in with some wilted violet I'm actually using the same blender brush here you see I just wiped it off at the side this is an Ulta new stamping mat I absolutely love it it's amazing can't speak more highly of it and uh, you'll probably see this in pretty much all my videos going forward but it's great for just wiping stuff off at the side and I can then go over it with a baby wipe or a wet paper cloth just to remove it. I've come in again with some past uh, cracked pistachio and then for a little bit of shimmer I'm going to add some of this shimmer spray uh, in gold. It's iridescent and it adds a beautiful really subtle shimmer so I've just given a couple of spritzes there and then I'm going to lift it off with a microfiber cloth and you will see that what's left behind and give it a little bit of a buff is a gorgeous gold embossed peacock and some subtle purple and blue and green coloured ink trapped in between that embossing powder. I'm then going to fussy cut out this image because there aren't coordinating dies but it's actually a really simple image to cut out even though it looks quite complicated. I'm using my UK Success Cutter Bees, they're my favourite scissors for fussy cutting. They're super sharp and remember tip for fussy cutting, I've got a lot better as I've practised, is to move the cardstock not the scissors, just a tip. 
Now for my second focal image, I'm using this circular stamp from the stamp set. I'm using the same Distress Oxides that I used before. And this time I'm going to be doing some ombre stamping. And what I mean by that is blending the inks on the actual acrylic block on the stamp itself. So you'll see I'm tapping it slightly sort of a third of the way in onto the stamp on the wilted violet here. Just checking that I've got enough ink on my stamp. I'm rotating it and then I'm going to come into the cracked pistachio. Now you will see that some of the wilted violet came off on that pad. It's not going to um, change the colour there at all. You can just wipe it off later. It's absolutely fine to do that. If you're worried about it, I would recommend using the lighter colours first. I use the dark colour first, but that's okay. And then I go back and forth a little bit just to get the colours to blend on the block and then stamp it down. And you can see I tr tried three different ways of doing it with the same colours. And I'm just going to die cut one of these out here. I found a Hero Arts uh, circle die that was the same size and die cut it out. I'm now going to back my panels onto some card bases. I'm using £110 Nina Solar White. There are also side folding card bases in the subscription box. And I'm popping up my first image on foam tape. The sentiment was heat embossed in wow, bright white, opaque, super fine embossing powder onto a strip of navy cardstock from the box. And then as a finishing touch, I'm going to come in with some of these Studio Cartier iridescent bubbles and add them on with liquid adhesive. These are gorgeous in real life. They've got basically every colour of the rainbow shimmering out of the centre of them, but they look clear as well. They're absolutely stunning and they go perfectly with pretty much anything, but very peacocky in my view. So I'm adding them onto both cards. On this one you can see I stamped the sentiment directly onto the panel in black and popped up that fussy cut peacock straight onto the panel. And that finishes my two cards. I do hope you've enjoyed. If you have, here's a couple of other videos you might like. If you want to be notified of new videos when they pop up, be sure to click that bell and subscribe. And I do have a couple of good ones coming up this month. Have an awesome day. Bye!